In example one, we're going to go over some terms that you should know for this unit. The first one is the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is this whole thing right here. So when we're talking about this graph, that's the coordinate plane. The next one is quadrants. Our quadrants, there are four of them. And I'll label them for you. So I'm going to show you that this is the green quadrants. So this is quadrant number one quadrant number two, and we use Roman numerals to label them, quadrant number three, and this is quadrant number four. So you should know each quadrant by number. The next thing is the y-axis. The y-axis is your vertical axis. So this right here, this axis is my y-axis. Next, we talk about the x-axis. X-axis is the horizontal axis, and that's this one right here. Then if we look at an ordered pair, we'll do that in gray. Ordered pair is going to be something that you're graphing on. So let's say, for instance, we have this point right here. That's the point 1, 0. And this right here is called the ordered pair. Oops, that's a D. Then if we take a look at the origin, when we talk about the origin, the origin is that point right there in the middle where the y-axis and the x-axis come together. So that's the origin, and the origin is always the point 0, 0. Then if we talk about x-coordinates and y-coordinates, our x-coordinate is the very first number in each of our ordered pairs. So this is called the x coordinate. You can also see in this ordered pair, the 1 would be considered the x coordinate. Again, it's always the first one. And then we have the y coordinate. So our y coordinate is going to be the second number in the ordered pair. And so if we take a look at our other ordered pair we have written down, the y coordinate would be the 0 or that second one in that ordered pair. If you have questions on any of these terms, please let me know.